<clears throat> hey guys, it's your girl Valencia Griffin Wallace. Um, I'm gonna wait a minute or two to see who hops on for this special Friday the 13th. Happy Friday live. So when you get here, say hey boo and let me know that you're here and then I'll get started. <clears throat> okay, so I want to talk about the real of criticism. Make sure you like, love, and share the video because this is really important. A lot of us are dealing with self-esteem issues. A lot of people are dealing with self-esteem issues and confidence issues because we're allowing people to uh, criticize us. Okay? So that's the first thing I have to say. Stop allowing people that haven't constructed you to deconstruct you. Stop allowing, hey hun, stop allowing people who haven't constructed anything deconstruct you. See, we, a lot of times, people will um, come to you with their criticism, right? And they, they will say, but I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to advise you. But I have questions. I'm confused. What have you done to build me up? First, because in psychology class, hey, hon, in psychology class, and you guys could Google this, we learn what they call a compliment, uh, a criticism sandwich, right? So that means if I have something really important that I need to tell you about, first, I'm going to compliment you, then I will throw in my criticism, and then I'm going to close out with a compliment. Hey, hon, how you doing? And so if someone, if the first thing they have to say to you is uh, criticism, they're not even trying to fix the compliment or the criticism sandwich, ask yourself, what have you constructed? Or ask them, what have you constructed? What gives you the right to criticize me when you, you've taken time out of your day, you've taken time out of your life, hey, hon, to, to criticize me? But you've done nothing to build me up. See, a lot of times as parents, we wonder why our kids don't listen to us. You may wonder why your mate, your, your friends, or whoever don't listen to you. Because you're always going at them with criticisms. Take time to make a damn sandwich. Compliment, criticism, compliment. Now, like I said, this is a sandwich, right? It's a criticism sandwich we learn about in psychology. Okay, if I don't trust you enough to eat from you, I'm not going to let you give me any sandwich. You guys know your mom or daddy, somebody told you don't eat from strangers, right? You used to get in trouble from eating from strangers, but yet you're allowing people you wouldn't even eat from criticize you. They're trying to shove sandwiches down your throat and you're taking it and wonder why you're choking on life right now. You're eating from the wrong people. I have no problem with constructive criticism because that means the people that have taken time out of their life to actually construct me, right? They've taken time to help build me up and say, hey, Valencia, you're doing this right, you're doing that right. But if you do this, it'll work a little bit better. But yeah, but you're really doing good. Notice the sandwich there. But if someone's coming at you trying to shove that meat of criticism down your throat and they haven't constructed you in any way, shape or form, don't drink the Kool-Aid, honey. Don't eat it. At all. Like I said, we internalize the food we're allowing other people to give us. We're internalizing criticism, finding ourselves stressed and depressed and analyzing ourselves because you're eating from the wrong table. Notice, I'm going to go back to the sandwich. Compliment, criticism, compliment. That's how it goes. So when someone is always coming at you with criticism, make you a list. 
This person has helped build me up or construct me in one, two, three, four, five, however many ways. This person has criticized me in one, two, three, four, five, however many ways, right? If they have criticized you more than they have constructed you or helped you, that's not your people, right? Because if you think about a sandwich, you have two pieces of bread, one piece of meat, two compliments to one criticism. If they are giving you more meat than bread, those aren't your people. So as you go into, uh, well, we're already in 2017 and we're looking to prune and get the right people in our life. Ask yourself, are you constructing me or are you too busy deconstructing me? Are you too busy criticizing me to even see what value I have to bring? Stop internalizing stuff from strangers. You wouldn't eat from them. That's how you get poisoned. That's how you get sick. You don't know how clean their kitchen is and you taking sandwiches from strangers. You wouldn't do it. If I don't trust you with my food, if I don't trust you enough to eat from you, I don't trust you enough that you are trying to pour into me. I don't trust you enough with my heart and my feelings and building myself that I'm going to take this from you. Y'all get it. And even if it's someone in your life and you have some constructive criticism. Build that sandwich. Good. The bread. The criticism is the meat. And then good again. Which is the other piece of bread. So that's all I have to say for this Friday the 13th. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And remember what I said. Two points. Okay, stop allowing people who haven't constructed you, criticize you. That's one. Stop allowing people who haven't constructed anything, much less a sandwich, deconstruct you. That's two. With that being said, peace and love. Happy Friday the 13th. Love yourself. Build yourself. Watch who you around. Are they feeding you or starving you? So with that being said, I'm going to drop the mic. I got a class to get ready for. Peace and love. Y'all have a great weekend. If you enjoyed the video, leave your comments, like, love, share it. Because somebody right now is dealing with some issues because they're taking too much criticism for, from people that haven't constructed even a sandwich. I'm just saying. Happy Friday.